Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video that is a little bit different from my channel because I don't do these types of videos, but um, it's something pretty cool. I'm sure you guys already can tell by the title, but it is a unboxing slash first impression slash review slash just showing you guys the new iPhone 7S Plus, 7 Plus? 7 S Plus? What is this? 7 Plus Jet Black. This is the 128 gigabyte size in the Jet Black shiny finish. Um, so yeah, it has 128 gigabytes of internal memory. There is a SIM card slot on the side just like every normal phone. And it comes with the headphones, the connector, charger, and whatnot just like every standard iPhone. Inside the box, standard just with all Apple uh, mobile devices, you have your power block and then your headphones. And underneath the headphones is the um, lightning connector charging cable with USB adapter. So inside the black box we have the little manual of course and then the phone itself. So this is what the phone looks like. Now this is not my phone, this is my boyfriend's phone so I am not going to take the plastic off or anything like that. I'm gonna let him do it and then he's going to put it into a case and whatnot and then I can show you a little bit more. But so this is what the phone looks like itself. This is what the phone looks like. It is this beautiful black piano like shiny finish. You can see the dual camera system right here and as you can see it is raised a little bit above the edge a tiny bit more than the other camera if I remember correctly with a, with a beveled edge to it. Um, the Apple logo itself is also piano this glossy piano black not metal um, and then you have your flash here and then light sensor is that a light sensor? So right here you can see the dual 12 megapixel cameras and then the light sensor and quad tone LED camera. On the side is the lock button. On the side you can see the power button. It clicks, it's the same tone as the phone itself. Then if we go down to the bottom of the device, we have dual speakers on either side and then our lightning charging port right here and of course yes there is the lack of 10 millimeter headphone jack right here so you will need an adapter for your headphones then moving up the side of the phone you have your volume rocker right here with your lower and upper volume and then your um your sound mode toggle switch so vibrate sound vibrate sound very standard and then if you'll notice on the new phone there is a lack of a physical button so if I press down there's no clicking this is a physical button which is now removed it still does have the infrared fingerprint reading technology in the home button, but it is now a haptic feedback um, response button as opposed to a physical mechanical button that you press down. At the very top of the phone, you have, of course, your audio um, output headset piece, or not piece, it's the where the mic, like, sound comes out, the speaker, and then the forward-facing selfie camera here as well. And yeah, so this is the 6 Plus, and then this is the 7 Plus and they are about the same size the newer phone might be a tad thinner but just marginally it's not too huge of a difference in size and as you can see the antenna um, grooves are no longer as visible they're more inlay into the actual perimeter of the phone, which I can't show you because of the plastic, but I'll show you in a second. Let's just try testing the phone, turning it on for the first time. Very standard, the Apple logo pops up. Um, this is the very first time the phone is booting on, so it may take a bit, but we'll see how fast it is. It should be pretty fast, regardless of this being the very first time it's being turned on. Um, and then, yeah. Maybe it might take a little while then. Oh, wow, it's actually pretty much done. Um, I will not do any configuration on the phone, I just wanted to see how fast it took to turn on. I do remember waiting a little bit longer when I got my 6 Plus, but that could just be me having hindsight bias, so 
we're gonna go give this back to Ryan. He's gonna put it into a clear case and then I can show you guys around the phone a little bit more. All right, so Ryan did put the case on the phone. Um, excuse my lashes, I had to film another video while he was setting up this phone, so. I look different. I, I think I wasn't even wearing this before, but whatever. Okay, so here is the phone on with the case. Now, because the case or the phone itself is such a, has such a highly buffed finish, it does get this like suction-y um, texture like on the back. So that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Anyway, um, let me just show you, you can hear the sound. So it's like, it's not a physical button, but you can hear the haptic, that little click. So the phone itself is extremely fast going between screens and menus and um, just the desktop home pages. Very, 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 very fast. Um, another thing that is very interesting about this phone is the um, dual speakers. So instead of having just the two speakers down at the bottom, which also is new, there previously was only one on this phone, they now will play audio out of the top speaker as well, so it has stereo audio at the moment. All right, so let me turn up the brightness a little bit so you guys can see better. I do have to say also, the intensity of the apps and just the brightness on the phone looks a little bit more crisp on the 7 versus my phone, but let's just do a quick comparison. I'm gonna open Safari on both. The app was previously quit, so it's not preloaded. Um, it's starting from fresh. Interesting, so my phone actually beat the iPhone. Um, we are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's do one more test. I'm going to go to um, YouTube, or no, let's go to um, Google Maps on both. So the iPhone clearly loaded the map much faster. Um, let's just see the zoom in frame rate as well iPhone is much smoother on the 7. This one is a little bit slower. There's a little bit more of a lag to load the map itself. Whereas the iPhone, it's very smooth. And yeah, so let's just see how fast it goes back home. iPhone 7, far superior in speed in that regard. Um, let's also just now really quickly open what's another app that sometimes takes a while. Music can sometimes be a little slow as well. Oop, I didn't click it. Let's try that again. I'm gonna quit that on my phone, and bam. So this one immediately opened up the previous playlist that was running. My phone is still doing something, I'm not really sure, but this clearly beat my phone in that regard as well. Um, now we are just going to test one final thing for you guys just so you can see, and that is going to be a actual speed test. So I'm going to go to both phones, type in speed test. All right, so I'm going to run a speed test on both phones. The iPhone 7 started up much faster even though this one opened before it. Um, they are on the exact same Wi-Fi network, so I don't expect to see a huge difference, but it looks like the iPhone 7 is running at a 10 megabit speed faster than my phone. Um, now it's testing the upload speed, and it's about 10 faster than mine as well. So definitely faster processing power in the iPhone 7 when it's connected to Wi-Fi. Um, let's now disconnect both phones from Wi-Fi, and we will run the test again. Now this could be influenced by our individual networks, but let's see. We're in a pretty good satellite area. Um, my phone went a little bit faster, but I do have Verizon, so that may be why. Um, the iPhone 7, my Ryan's phone is on uh, T-Mobile. So 23 megabits for, megabytes for um, megabits, I'm sorry, for download and then 17 for upload speed. Let me try this one again on this phone. Interesting. So this is not going very fast, but that also may be because it's loading all of the apps at the moment. So that's not actually a really good test to do right now. But um, yeah, so that's basically it. Let me just show you guys some new features of the phone itself. So in the messaging app inside, I recently caught Snorlax, so I was showing my friend. If you go into the messaging app, you have three little side options right here. A camera, which was previously there, a little heart, and then um, kind of a analytic like thing for music. 
Um, I don't really know how to use this or what it is yet. I haven't really done anything with it, but this is a really cool new feature which was featured on the Apple iWatch. Um, this is so you can send kind of more cute little pictures or little drawings and things like that, and it will kind of show it out or draw it out for you. Hi Susan, so this is for my friend Susan, I'm gonna send that. And then it will actually play it out for the recipient so they can see what you sent them in real time. So that's something cool. Also the notification flags come down a little bit differently. And then one other thing that you can do is actually program Siri to just pop up on her own. Hey Siri, she's not working right now, but she will actually just pop up on her own without you having to hold down the home button anymore. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That concludes my little unboxing slash review of the brand new iPhone 7 Plus in the jet black color. I hope you like this. I'm not gonna be doing many tech videos. I'm not a tech channel, but I hope this was informational to you guys or inform informational. I hope this was informative to you guys because I know this particular model, the 127 gig in this color is not as readily available right now. It's, there's a lot of people who ordered it sold out immediately, so there's not too many reviews of this bad boy online, so I hope if you guys are thinking of buying one, this helped your buying decision, and I hope it helped showing you the comparison with this phone was also helpful. Um, as for software, there's not really a huge difference between um, the iOS 10 and iOS 9, so if you have a 7, a 6 plus, it's not necessarily worth buying the 7 just for the software. You could easily upgrade it and your phone will work fine. It is a little bit slower than this phone, but um, if you can't afford it or if you don't really necessarily need the upgraded camera and stereo audio, you may want to just stick with your phone and wait for the 8, but if you are someone like me or a fellow YouTuber and you take lots of pictures or you do voiceovers or things and you want a higher quality mic and just audio for when you're viewing YouTube videos and taking pictures, then this is definitely going to be an upgrade that will be worth your while. Um, the phone itself is beautiful, the form factor is so well made, feels very sturdy, and I do actually really like this haptic thing. I'm getting a little bit more used to it now that I've been playing with this phone. So when I am due for an upgrade, I will definitely be upgrading my phone, but I do think I'm going to be getting the matte color instead of the glossy black. But yeah, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in my next one. It is going to be a skincare video on my current favorites and routine, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. -ya.